extra hell on Mike Mingle along with Jason Souls. We're live from CC's Pizza Eats Wednesday from noon to 1 p.m. If you join us and eat lunch with us, you get the buffet and drink all for five bucks. Programming note, we will not have an Eats Me Extra next Wednesday. Uh, because of the Thanksgiving break, each of students actually get the whole week off. And we'll be back in December with ETV Extra here each Wednesday here on the ETV Sports Who's going to buy me lunch? I don't – well, you should be with your family maybe next Wednesday, Jason. I may come anyway. <laughs> All right. All right, now we welcome to the show Secret Davis. She is a, a, a student who plays on the Lady Tiger basketball team. And, and first, got to go ahead and ask you this question. Last night, even though you lost, you did a move to the bucket – that you did a 360. Coach Howard says you've been practicing on it. Tell me about the move. I mean, it, it, I went, I went wow as I was calling the game last night on the ETV Sports Net. Um, it's, it is something that I practice uh, every day in practice. I did practice it over the summer, like I practiced it just to be able to carry it out in the game. When you made the shot, were you surprised? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course not. <laughs> well, well, Secret, how did you learn about East Texas Baptist University Lady Tiger basketball and wanting to come here to play? Uh, I came on a visit, and I just loved the atmosphere. Like, it was very uh, caring and kind, and all the people were just awesome. And Coach Howard, he's one of those coaches that if he wants you, he's going to keep calling. And he was one of those coaches that just showed interest. I had other schools wanting me to come, but – no calls, nothing. He stayed, stayed on it, Texan. You're from Dorito, Louisiana. You're a junior by eligibility. You yes. played at Angelina County College down there in Lufkin. How much difference is there between junior college basketball and playing NCAA Division three basketball? It's faster. Like the the teams are faster. Everybody's smarter. It's just a different atmosphere. Just like it's quicker and smarter. As you're getting to know the players on your team this year, what excites you about playing for the Lady Tigers this year? Uh, competitiveness and the chemistry. We have a lot of leaders that's competitive, and it rolls off to us. So we try to follow their footsteps and the competitive competitiveness of the of the game. In last night's loss to Austin College, you lost by ten. What were some of the good things as a player that you saw that your team did that you said, hey, we're going to be okay. This is just a, a, the second game of the season. We won our opener. We lost this one. But, hey, we, we got some things we can work on, but we can get better. Uh, the way we stayed together as a team, like no one was putting anyone down. We all just came together to say, hey, we did lose, but we can work on this in practice. It's something that can't be fixed. No one fell apart. Visiting with Secret Davis here on ETV Extra. She's a junior on the Lady Tiger basketball team. And Jason, have a question for her? Yeah, Secret, coming off the injury and the surgery, um, how does it feel just to, to be back on the court and playing meaningful, meaningful minutes in a uniform with real referees and all that going on? Um, nothing's taken for granted. Like, as he talked about earlier, I had a, a scare during the first week of practice, thinking I may have retorn it. As he said, I told everybody I wouldn't hurt, but it's, we have to have a check on check up on it so once I found out nothing is taken for granted I try to give my all every time I go on the court. When Coach Howard was on the show just moments ago he talked about how you like to be that sixth person off the bench and last night coming off the bench and that loss to Austin College 13 total points four or seven I, I guess you like that role. <laughs> yes I, I love the six man role because like I can sit on the bench and see all what's going on and know what to say to players when we coming in and off and just be able to help my teammates just coming off the bench, give them all. When did your love for playing basketball start? To be honest, in junior high. Not like everybody say that it first started, but you never really experience it until it's almost ticking for me. So mine came in junior high. Junior high is when you started playing. I like this game. Yes. Well, sir. that's good. That's good. <laughs> well, with the trip to the West Coast, have you flown before? Who I was one of those six or seven. <laughs> you one of those six that have not. <laughs> Just no. picture in your mind you're getting on a bus and you'll I, be all right. I was the one that actually asked, could I leave earlier <laughs> after the bus? 
It'll be, it'll be all right. Well, you, you won't be the only one. And I know uh, Coach Shepard, uh, I think she had a hard time on a plane not too long ago. But uh, talk about her influence. And, and you guys play kind of a similar role. You can guard the one through the four. Um, you know, defense is kind of, you know, something she was her hallmark that she's trying to imprint on some of you guys. Uh, what sort of role model has she been for you in that sense? Wow. I've, I've only known Coach Z since she got here, but, like, I love Coach Z, like, she's so humble. Like, I love the fact that she, she don't have to say much, but her presence says it all. She's very humble. She she just helps all of us. Like, it's no doubt that we can't go to her, ask her about basketball, personal-wise, spiritually. Like, it's nothing that we can't talk to Coach Z about. Of course, Jason Souls making reference to Coach Marzetta Shepard, one of our former Lady Tiger basketball players now on staff. Matter of fact, Coach Howard recruited her to play at ETVU and he was here the first go around. As you go to the Thanksgiving break and you're looking forward to, to, to the trip, let's get past flying since you've never flown before. <laughs> Why do you look forward to being on the West Coast playing basketball during the holidays? I mean, not many players get that opportunity. Um, I'm ready to see the level of competition. Like, you know, everybody doesn't play the same as you go to different states. Like, just want to see, like, how our team handles another environment and see. Well, I know we can do it either way it go. We're going to come out on top, but I would love to see how we bond together more since we found a way with no fans and stuff. Well, Secret Davis has been our guest today on Eat to the Extra. Secret, thank you for coming thank today. Thank you. It's finally good to meet you in person. I called your name several times last night on the broadcast. and. You'll be all right on the plane trip to California. Let's <laughs> hope so. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for ETV Extra today, live from CC's Pizza in Marshall, Texas. Programming note, we will not be here next Wednesday because of the Thanksgiving break for ETV. We'll be back in December with two shows. So keep abreast of everything happening at ETVSports.com to find out when we're next to a broadcast. Of course, we'll talk more Tiger basketball when we come back in December. Jason, anything you want to say before we go today? No, have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time off, and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. That's right. We'll see you in a couple weeks on ETBU Extra. Once again, the fan vote was won by Dylan Augustine with 80% of the vote, beating out the performance by Amanda Rucker for the Lady Tigers and Tyler Bates for Tiger Football. Well, that's going to wrap it up today from CC's Pizza here on ETV Extra. I want to say thank you to the Sports Information Department of ETBU, Adam Ledyard and Josh McSwain running the camera today for the video feed later on YouTube. On behalf of Jason Souls, I'm Mike Mitkiff. Hope to see you in church tonight. So long from CeCe's Pizza in Marshall, Texas. This has been ETV Extra on the ETV Sportsnet.